This is a 2011 A-Liner Classic model. It is uh, uh, 15 feet long, 78 inches wide, and when it's closed, it's 57 inches tall. It weighs about 1,500 pounds dry weight. It has 13-inch radial tires, and uh, you can add another 500 pounds because the total uh, vehicle weight is 2,000 pounds. The dry hitch weight is 190 pounds. It's easy to tow and it's easy to store. This A-liner has uh, been covered most of the time or in, in the garage and it has been used less than one week total. So it's in virtually new condition. Right here you will see that there's an, a, um, a little hook that you can put the stove top on. It's a portable so there's available uh, propane here as well as propane on the inside. Right here is an outlet. There's two uh, electrical plug outlets right here so um, you can access other things like uh, a hot plate if you wanted to. The lights are, uh, are nice all the way around. This has a stabilizer on each corner which makes it nice so it, it doesn't rock it even though it's only 15 feet long when you're walking around on the inside. Here is an outside shower the A-liner can be connected to water uh, at the campsite or there's a very small water container in, you know, underneath so um, you can have fresh water from the inside even, even though it's not connected up. Not very big though. There's a TV connection on the inside and on the outside of the A-liner. Right here you'll see that this door is kind of looks like it's in half and it's called a Dutch door. Um, because in order to fold down you have to have the, that top of the door fold in also. So that's what they call it, a Dutch door. This is the inside. Here's the refrigerator. It is three cubic feet. It has about uh, a little tiny freezer inside. So you can have a tray or so of ice. You see these little things right here. They're really the little levers that keep that outside uh, that wall up in place because this whole thing folds right down like a box sort of. That's the reason why it is so fast to put up and to take down and I have seen that some people say they can t take it up or put it down in less than a minute but more realistically it's you know five minutes. There's lights on each side and um, they're run by battery or when you're connected to the landline or, or the land access to power. Right here is this is the eyes the um, connected to propane like I said on the inside and the outside. Cook inside this is on the inside or you can take this outside. It's, two, it's a two burner stove. This is the little sink in the faucet and right there is air condition and it's pretty good about keeping things uh, the limited time we have used it to keep it pretty cool. This is the front of the uh, of the pop-up and it is um, meaning toward the, the hitch. The table you can fold up and take outside so you can eat outside instead of inside. These um, windows here they're made out of a plexi material so they're very hard and very sturdy so something's just because something um, hits it uh, it's not going to um, pop or anything. That's the air conditioner like I was showing you. This is the other side and this is a um, makes out into a bed 60 by 80 which is a good size and it makes an, a nice 80 inch long sofa. This is where the table was and you can make it out to a small bed also. Two kids can actually sleep here. Here is a microwave and um, it's just a, it's a small microwave but you can put more in there than you think and uh, of course the fire extinguisher here. These windows you can also open has the screens in them. This is another one of those windows that has the uh, plexi window material. This is a fan. It's called a fantastic fan because you can make it where it'll suck the hot air out or bring in air from the outside in. So that makes it handy. If here is the front you can see it has two uh, skylights. They're also made out of this plexi material. This is a diamond plate material. Here's that one. You could actually put two propane tanks here. We didn't because right here we have a battery that operates when you're not connected to power. It operates the lights. 
here's the back of it. You can see here is the um, uh, extra the spare tire. Also, on the right where this connects, you can also connect a, a rack to carry extra luggage and extra stuff. That makes it really handy so you don't have to have everything. You do have to consider that part of the total weight, however, I'm sure. Here it is when you have both of those A-frame down. And that's when you're closing it up or you have just opened the top. You can see right along here, see this is the two sides. In order to raise and, uh, and lower, it has a heavy duty rod springs. And that makes it easier to open and close. It almost pops up and down, uh, but it's quite easy. Here it is, it is when it is folded down. You see, you'll, you'll see the top of the door I was telling you about earlier. This is the door, top of that door and you just fold it up like I said like a box and there is another picture of it like that and that's when he's taking it down and it takes down and comes back up you know just the opposite way it just is very fast and there is it down a little bit more and that is almost all the way down and here it is all the way all the way down so it is a small compact easy to tow. Here's the front of it again when it's closed and there's the back of it again when it is closed down. And there you have it, the um, 2011 A-Liner Classic.